Wearing trances Going all to different places Different planets Watch your own Hey everyone and happy new year! So today's video is going to be a bunch of bedroom cleaning motivation. I cleaned all of our bedrooms and all of our bathrooms. They had gotten pretty messy as you can tell from just all the holiday festivities, new toys for the kids, and just general sickness going through our house too. My two-year-old was diagnosed with RSV so we've been dealing with a lot of sleepless nights and so my house just kind of goes chaotic whenever somebody is sick. And so on this day that I was cleaning, I really wanted to get the bedrooms in order because I could start to feel the sickness coming on myself. And so I really wanted to get this done before it like fully hit me. And so I hope that you enjoy this video and that you get some good cleaning motivation. And thanks for watching. Before I start any actual cleaning, I'm throwing our sheets into the wash because it literally takes me all day when I wash my sheets and my comforter. I try not to do them on the same day, but every once in a while it falls on the same day and it literally just takes all day long because our comforter is so fluffy and it takes forever to dry. So I'm getting that started right away before I get into the rest of my cleaning. Our bedroom is one of the spaces that never really looks as good as I would like it to. It just always ends up being the catch-all for everything that we don't want the kids to get into. And so I'm just doing some general tidying around here, but I hoped in the future that we can do like a complete makeover in here. We really need new bedroom furniture. As you can tell, our dresser is falling apart and we don't have like an actual bed frame. All of our furniture is like 15 years old. And so we just really need a good overhaul in our bedroom. So someday I hope that it will look nice. I had already done a deep clean of all of our bathrooms a couple days earlier. I had like cleaned the bathtub, cleaned the toilets, scrubbed them, and cleaned the floors also. So I'm just doing a general pickup in our bathrooms and replacing the trash. And now I'm moving on into my son's room and you can tell it has got a bunch of toy explosions are all around here. All of my kids like to come in here and play. It's really cute that they like to go play in here together. So it gets really messy really quickly. So like I mentioned before, my son had caught RSV and thankfully it wasn't too bad, but he did have some nights where he was coughing a lot and having a hard time sleeping. So we had all of the sick essentials up on his dresser. We had a humidifier, had all of the medicines and vapor rubs and all that to try and help him to sleep. And my parents were so sweet. They actually took my older two girls while my son was sick so that I could just focus on him and not have to worry about them because they were still on winter break. And so they were home full time and 
they were you know really bored of course because we couldn't go anywhere because my son was sick and so they got to go off and be with grandma and grandpa for a couple of days which was really nice and another reason that I was trying to get this cleaning done because it's so much easier to clean when I only have one kid at home versus all three of them and then I really wanted to do a good clean in my girls room while they weren't home because whenever they're home and I try to clean their room they are always like oh no I need this don't don't put that away I really need it so as you can tell their room is a mess they had dumped out their laundry basket looking for some certain clothes so I'm sorting through all of these putting the dirty ones in the laundry basket and then there were a couple clean clothes in here there were some dress-up clothes in this pile and yeah I really needed to take care of their room I do have them clean up their room when they're home but on this time since they were at their grandma and grandpa's house I just wanted to overhaul their room because it was getting bad Is anyone else like overwhelmed by the sheer amount of things that their kids have? It is crazy always after the holidays. I try to declutter before, you know, Christmas and everything before they get new toys, but there's always just so many toys. And we have kind of like a double whammy because one of my daughter's birthdays is in December. So she gets presents from her birthday and then she also gets Christmas presents. And then of course, you know, everyone gets presents. So there's just so much and I'm already feeling like I need to do another like purge because there's just so much going on here. And I definitely need to declutter and organize everything. Right now I'm just doing like a general tidy, just trying to put everything back in its place. But yeah, I definitely need to go and do a good purging session. If you saw the video where I did a makeover in this room for my girls, this poor dresser has gotten so bad. I mean, obviously it's a mess because my girls like clutter it with a bunch of stuff, but I had mentioned in the room makeover video that these dresser knobs were terrible and they have gotten so bad. I need to just take them off and put on the old knobs because that's how bad they are. They are like falling apart, coming off, and they're like leaving sharp edges on the place where the knobs are. So I really need to just take them all off and replace them because it's just getting really bad. And I also need to repaint this dresser. So let me know if I should just paint it white or if I should do uh, like a fun color or like a different color. Let me know what you would think if I should do if I paint this dresser. And after a while, it was time to switch over the sheets to the dryer and then add my comforter to the washer. Like I said, this comforter is very fluffy and so it barely fits in the washer. And yes, I, it had been a while since I cleaned out my lint trap, so uh, that's embarrassing. But I'm glad that the comforter fits somewhat in this washer, but like I said, it takes forever for this thing to dry because it's so big and fluffy, but I'm just gonna be doing that. And usually I have to put it through the dryer a couple times for it to get dry, I have to like take it out out and kind of like re-fluff it or like reposition it so that most of the areas get dry. It's annoying, but I love this comfort because it's so cozy.
moving back into my daughter's room. I am cleaning up this mess now. I really need some help with some kids toy organizations because everything that I have tried in the past just is not working. I've tried, you know, like individual bins for certain categories of toys. I've tried, you know, like drawers and it, nothing just nothing works. They never put things where they're supposed to go and everything just kind, kind of ends up being like a jumbled mess. Like everything gets all mixed together. So I really need some help. Help me figure out what I need to do with toy organization because I am struggling. And also if you can see on the dresser there is a bunch of marker that was permanent marker from my son. He drew on their dresser so that is another reason why I need to repaint that dresser because it definitely needs a facelift. So this is going to be the end of this video. All of my bedrooms are nice and clean and all the bathrooms are tidied up. It feels so good to have everything back in order. I was wanting to try and do a whole house clean with me, but I was not feeling good by the end of just cleaning the bedroom. So I called it a day after cleaning the bedrooms and I will tackle the rest of the house another day. But I hope that you enjoyed this video and you got some good cleaning motivation. Thank you so much for being here and I will see everyone in my next video.